going on? I hope y'all are having a dope ass day. It's your boy Alex and I am back today with another reaction video. Sorry for the clickbaity title. <laughs> But I thought it was just way too good of an opportunity to pass up. Uh, today we're gonna be reacting to the band called Death, a band you've been wanting me to react to for a long, long time. Now this band is interesting because they were formed in 1983 in Orlando, Florida. So I feel like they were the same era as like the big four, but a completely different lane. So it gave people kind of like a more extreme metal. Really excited to see what this is all about. So the song we're gonna be reacting to today is called Lack of Comprehension. I don't even wanna wait. So let's get it. Link to the original video will be down below in the description. Y'all make sure to check it out if you want to. Let's experience death together, shall we? <laughs> you know, recently I've been feeling really weird. I feel like every single person in my life has been really, really annoying me except for Sarah. And I don't know what that's about. I don't know what my deal is, but I've been getting extremely annoyed with everybody except for my fiance. Really weird. Okay, let's go. That was so 
cool. I didn't even <laughs> pause it once because I liked it so damn much. Not that I pause songs that I don't like. That was really cool. Now I just feel like I've been craving some heaviness. You know, like the past couple of days, I feel like I haven't been getting the heaviest songs ever, and this was just like what I want to hear right now. So that was cool. First thing that I'm gonna say is their hair. Every single one of those dudes' hair is extremely long. So I think that that's just cool to note from an aesthetic perspective. Secondly, this is interesting. So I remember reading Scar Tissue by Anthony Kiedis, lead singer of the Red Hot Chili Peppers, for those of y'all that don't know. And he talked a lot about doing speedballs whenever he was younger. So I think that that's like either cocaine and heroin together in like a syringe or whatever. So basically you get the high, the crazy high from the cocaine or whatever, and then the extremely low from the heroin. And it's like an intense both sides of the spectrum balance. So I think that this song is kind of like a speedball. Not that I've ever done that or ever will, but just like that same effect where it's like both sides of the spectrum you get like this really calm melody at the beginning and then you get this intense death metal and it's just like the mesh of them together is so cool and so unique and it's just like very encapsulating and I can't help but think that whenever this came out people were probably like what the fuck is that and it's like so attractive because it's so new and so weird and eclectic that it's just like oh my god I've never heard anything like that so this is really fucking cool now the meaning of this song I had to do some research about this but I found that this was from an interview with Chuck which is the lead singer he said that it was inspired by the whole Judas Priest scandal when the band were accused of inciting a fan to commit suicide, it is ridiculous to suggest that the music is responsible for a parent's fuck up. Two teenagers committed suicide, one successfully right away, the other did it successfully later on. The one who survived blamed the Judas Priest song, Better By You, Better Than Me, even though that was a cover, supposedly. So this seems like displaced reasons for doing something drastic, and then that's, uh, you know, a whole nother reason why metal and this type of music gets such a bad rap, because of stuff like this. So I think that they made a song about that dilemma, which is really, really interesting. Fucking absolutely love this song dude. This was badass. Definitely need to listen to some more death. Y'all been saying it for a long time that I need to react to them, and I'm sorry that it's taken me this long, but I finally did, so I hope you enjoyed it. And that's where you guys come in. Drop some comments down below. Let me know what you think about this song. Let's screw this video in general. Let me know some more death songs that I can react to, and that is all I got for you today, so keep smiling. Keep being yourself. Don't let anybody throw shade at you. I will see you guys tomorrow. That's a motherfucking fact. Oh, yeah. Peace!